Hello all, today in this video, I am going to provide the details regarding a demo video for K nearest neighbor regression where we have worked with an crop data set. Previously, we have done with some of the machine learning regression algorithms. In this algorithm, uh, work and a video, we are going to work with the uh, KNN a regression algorithm and then we are be going to make a comparison of which algorithm is providing the better results. Uh, uh, so, uh, mostly we are going with regression algorithm only other than classification algorithm. Uh, so, someone is asking the uh, data set link. I, I used this data that is downloaded this data 8 uh, months back. So, I don't remember from which uh, uh, link I downloaded. So, if I am aware of it means I will definitely share the link in the description box. So, in the, uh, in the data set which we are using we have both categorical and numerical value. In that the yield value we are choosing as the y variable and apart from that everything will be chosen as the x variable. Then we are uh, making pre-processing by use of the label encoder function and then after pre-processing we are making to the heat map of our data set so this is the heat map of our data set then we are grouping our data set by using the crop production and area by this we are just seeing how many types of uh, varieties of crop the data set is having or data set is having more than 50 varieties of crop you can see it's having more than 54 varieties of crop then we are splitting our data into x variable and y variable as i previously said in the x variable we are having the uh, variables or features other than the yield variable and in the y variable we are choosing only the yield variable and then in the x variable we are checking we are having any dummies and then we are using the train test for test split function to split our data that is x and y into x train x test y train and y test by using the test size as 0.2 that is 20 percent will be determined for testing and the remaining uh, percent that is the remaining 80 percent will be taken for training already with the linear regression we have made an algorithm uh, the demo and in that we got an training accuracy of 83.94 and testing accuracy of 85.03 percent then we worked with the decision accuracy in that we got an training accuracy of 100 percent and testing accuracy of 93.82 percent and then we worked with the random forest in that we got an training accuracy of 99.44 and testing accuracy of 95.29 then we worked with the gradient boost in that we got an training accuracy of 99.79 and testing accuracy of 97.01. Then we worked with the XG boost in that we got an training accuracy of 100 and testing accuracy of 96.89 then we worked with the bagging regression in that we got an training accuracy of 99.49 and testing accuracy of 95.54 now in this report we are going to make a demo video of k nearest neighbors uh, every code uh, algorithm or uh, will be having only one difference that is the libraries and its uh, calling functions so in in K nearest neighbor, uh, neighbors, we are first importing the libraries and calling it uh, by using the n neighbors as 10 and we are calling or declaring it within a variable KNN. Then we are fitting or training our model by using the x train and x test for uh, y train variables. Then we are uh, testing our model by using the predict function and the x test variable. Then we are declaring the values for accuracy, mean square error and R2 square. By this we got an uh, training accuracy of 93.16 and testing accuracy of 86.53. Now, uh, uh, I said that uh, pre, uh, we are going to make a comparison table. For that, we are just getting every models within a single group. Uh, so, we are within the model, we are a uh, model variable. We are just calling every models we have done so far. That is linear regression, decision tree, random forest, gradient boost, XG boost, bagging regression and the KNN which we did now. Then, we are just um, making a loop in that loop we are calling the training function testing function or variables like accuracy mean square error r2 square etc and also we are displaying the training by accuracy and testing accuracy of every model 
so that you will get the training accuracy and a, a testing accuracy of every model in the single cell uh, now we are making a table representation in the table we have made an highlight point that is the least model will be shown with red color and the highest model will be shown with our uh, green color by this differentiation we can just confirm that uh, among the models which we have declared which model is having the highest uh, accuracy and which model is having the least accuracy by this table uh, here green color stands for the best model that is gradient boost shows the best model which is having an accuracy of 97 uh, after uh, gradient boost the XG boost takes the place and after that the bagging regression takes the place after that the random forest takes the place after that the decision trick Three takes the place after that only KNN comes and uh, finally linear regression so this is the comparison of different models we have worked and this is the result for the every models comparison with this particular data set maybe there may be some uh, uh, differences when the data set change uh, so in the next video we will be working with the cat boost regression with the same data set so if you are interested in knowing some other demo video means please let us know in the comment box so if we are aware of it means we will definitely make a video regarding it thank you